Right guys, I'm going to get cracking again with this. Now, I'm just cleaning all my brushes off and everything. So, it's like a pretty good to go. Just going to dry my fan brush off, make sure there's no turps or anything in there. Right, and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to, now for the highlighting part of these little ripples on the ocean, I'm going to be using titanium white and yellow. The same cadmium yellow we used for the sky. And mix them together. Not too yellow, not too white. You just got to get it right. The right balance. There. Yeah. Must to be similar to your sky. You see, your sky is already mixed with the liquid white. See that? Something like. And then, we're going to come back in here, just on the horizon line. And we're just going to indicate some little crashing waves and stuff. It's going on in the background. There. Reload. Now this is, with this being a lavender colour, don't get too much to the blue side or this will turn green on you. This is uh, a lavender but it's, it's more or less half half, it's more, it's got a lot of mo a red with it, a lot of red with this colour. So I just, see like there I'm just putting it on first and letting the actual bright colour get on there. And then you'll notice that once I've done that, I'll come backwards and forwards and I'll just touch her over that, blend it out. There. So on. Got a clean fan brush. And we're gonna just blend underneath that. the yellow in with the white. Still not actually what I wanted. There. There. That's better colour. Just wanted a little bit more of the yellow room with it. Little crashes going on in the background. Little crashing, tiny crashing waves. Sometimes just tap away from the pile, like there, just tap away, take off any dirty colour that you've picked up. And you can sometimes just push into the paint a tiny bit and it helps you get a good load. Just in here. Work on individual waves. Nice. Again, tap that other bit of lavender away. Pull through that both sides to a chiseled edge and then push in. And then just here. This allows you to get more paint on the bristles basically so that you can come back here and get some colour up over the top of this lavender. a bit behind where that wave's crashing. Just a bit there. Blend that out. Sometimes nice to just leave the tops showing. Just a little bit. Right, just back in here. side to side 
I'm going to mix with the base coat of lavender. But don't kill the base coat, don't kill it completely. Leave it showing through just underneath. Keep getting paint, reload. See there? Keep reloading your paint. And I want that to go on there. Nice and bright that one. And then just blend it out. Sweet. This is one fun painting to do. I think you guys are going to love it when you give it a go. Again, and we're just basically just going to keep doing this in all these areas. When I get down here, you notice, watch it. See that? I use all sides, I use the front, the sides first, and then the other sides. Whatever colour you pick up, again, get rid of that. Reload into the clean stuff. And you're off again. So I know I want this to be quite bright in here. That's why I put quite a bit of colour in. In fact, the sunlight's just hitting over that. Just in there. Somebody was asking me also if I would uh, do a DVD of the painting which I did out of Wonderful Wales. If you look on my YouTube you'll actually see it. But uh, I only uploaded it as a picture you see, I didn't actually demo it. And he was saying he would love me to do that on a DVD. But one person isn't enough for us to do a DVD but if you guys have a look at that and if I get enough people asking for it I'll be very willing to do it on DVD for people but it's just got to be worthwhile same again this in here is going to be quite a bit brighter the key thing, I'm just applying paint at the moment. I'm not too worried about blending it all out nice and perfect. Not quite yet. I will do soon. At the moment, I'm just trying to get some enough of this yellow in, basically. thing stand out this little crashing wave that's why I've done that it'll make that stand out so well when I do it contrast again the light and the dark 